Welcome back to Soda City Live. Tis it the season yet? Indeed it is. The Midlands Crafters Association returns with another amazing event. This one way ahead of schedule or rather just in time for the holidays. Midlands Christmas Arts and Crafts Market. Joining us today is lead event coordinator with the Midlands Crafters Association, Jamie Oregon. And one of this year's vendors is Tammy Yeomans with Brims of, Yeomans, excuse me, with Brims of Fire. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thank you for having us. It is such a pleasure to have you. First of all, we cannot dismiss this wonderful display in front of <laughs> us. Everything here created by Tammy with Brims of Fire. So. We're going to talk a little bit about you and some of the work that you've created, but first we're going to talk with Jamie about the, the Midlands Christmas Arts and Crafts Market. Right, right. So uh, we have a selection of everybody on the table, and not just Tammy, but okay. we have we have different vendors that you'll see out there at the market. So we have um, ornate bird houses that were made. Um, just Indeed. gives you a good, different, unique present to yeah. give everybody. Uh, we got glass works, we have woodworks, um, some food items, of course, Tammy's beautiful hats, sewn items and crocheted things. But this is just a selection of what you'll find out there. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's over 170 vendors. There oh is. Oh my goodness. Can you it's tell us? Huge. Yes. And there's not just you know, gift ideas or just decor ideas. There mm -hmm. are some gift ideas for humans and pets right. and toys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you can find um, handmade wooden toys that are gonna outlast anything you can find at a big, big box store. So these are things that are gonna grow with your children over time. Um, of course, we have a lot of pet vendors. We want you to bring your pets because they're a part of your family too. So they wanna go out and have a good time as well. Right. Um, so we have people that make pet treats and pet things and anything you can think of for pets. Um, we'll have vendors on site that will be doing live painting. Um, so you can do that. You can see how they do their craft. Um, and then it's just, it's a really fun day. We have food trucks on site. You can come get some lunch. So there's food. Mm -hmm. You had us there. Yeah. <laughs> food and crafts. Oh my goodness. And this is two days. It is. It is a two day event. Um, we will also have a special visitor. We will oh. have Santa. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be riding in on their sleigh on Saturday from one to four and Sunday from one to four as well. Perfect. So, yeah. Awesome. So uh, you can catch a glimpse with them and get started on getting everything ready for Christmas. Awesome. Well, we are so excited about that. You can see some of those details there. And again, uh, Jamie mentioned that there are some other items on this table, but I also want to make sure we acknowledge these beautiful <laughs> hats. They are brims of fire. Tammy, tell me why brims of fire? What makes these hats so special? <laughs> brims of fire um, is hat pyography. I designed them using heat burning tools and fire, basically torches. Mm. Sometimes I just set the entire hat on fire. I love it. And we wanted her to bring things to set on fire here, but we couldn't because we have um, some fire codes. We want to make sure that we're paying attention to. But we do have a video showing Tammy working on actually one of the hats that she's brought today on this little Lazy Susan that's spinning around. So this is, so what, how do you create the art? You, it looks like you're freehanding a lot of the art. A lot of the stuff is freehanded. Actually, this hat is totally freehanded. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. And I have to ask, are these hats that you find and then you burn or... Do you make the hats as well? I, I purchase the hats. Okay. Um, and then I design on the hats, and then I embellish them. A lot of things, like this is torch distressed. Mm -hmm. In other words, I take a, a flame and just burn it and torch it to make it look distressed. Not everybody likes that. Some people like the more classic type thing like this. Um, and then I embellish them. But I do a lot of custom orders. Um, you can make them special, like if your father passed away and you have like a shirt from his, that was his, and you can use the fabric from that to make your hat band. Pocket watches, I've had people ask to use like necklaces and charms and things like that on them as well. That's beautiful. But you know, it's, it's wearable art. I love that. How did you get into making um, this art? I've always been a crafty person. I do have another crafting, I do have a crafting business. This is an entity of my crafting wow. business. Um, this, I've only been doing this for like four months. Really? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, only oh four goodness. months. I, scrolling Facebook and TikTok and things like that, late one night couldn't sleep and I came across somebody who was doing this. I was like, cool. 
<laughs> so I just had to learn how to do it, and I did. Mm -hmm. um, watched videos and things like that and just learned how to do it and started doing it myself. Awesome. Well, you can check out Tammy and Jamie at this weekend's market. Uh, we have the details right there for you. So Saturday from 9 to 4, Sunday from 5 to, tw I mean, excuse me, from 12 to 4, it's free admission, free parking, and if you uh, want to give our viewers your information, how can they get in touch with you, Tammy? They can get in touch with me um, on Facebook at Brems of Fire, or they can email me at Brems of Fire um, at Hotmail.com. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining thank me. You. We'll have all these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Be sure to stick with us. We have more Soda City Live coming up next.